Hello! Okay, so, I obviously didn't make a video every day last week, but someone told me it's better to have a couple really solid videos, like, you know, once or twice a week, instead of like oversaturating. So, that's what I'm gonna do every Wednesday and every Sunday. So, kind of continuing on with what I did last time with that How to Play Through video with Sweet Home Alabama, I picked another song. And I picked While My Guitar Gently Weeps because I love this tune. I love soloing on this tune or jamming on it. Um, it's pretty straight A. It's really cool because you can either play just, you know, all your blues licks or you can actually like outline the chord changes. So, for those of you who don't know this chord progression, it's really straight ahead. It's A minor, uh, A minor over G. F sharp minor seven flat five, you could play D over F sharp, whichever floats your boat. F major seven, back to A minor, to G, to D, and then to E. Okay, now in the solo I played at the beginning is something I kind of pre-composed, which I do all the time. It's really great way to learn how to play through a tune. You know, you have a second to kind of absorb everything and plan out your attack. So, let's get right into it. So I started right up here at 15th fret. So with a bend on 15th fret, give me a little volume there. And what I'm doing, I'm bending up a full step and then picking up actually. Right, to get that really kind of like, ah. By the way, kind of my approach for this solo is like one part Prince, one part Jeff Healy, uh, one part Steve Lukather, kind of mesh them all together and that's what you got. This is definitely a very like, you know that Prince guitar solo with like Tom Petty, which is so sick. Definitely stole this from that. So anyways, so yeah, first part. Bend on 15th fret on the B string. And again, I'm picking up, not down. Totally different, listen. Compared to. Very different, so. And then 13th fret on the B. Full stab. A slight bend. 10th fret on the B. And then 10 on the B. Nine on the G. 10 on the B. Eight on the E. Back to 10 on the B, so. And from there, E, 10 on the B, full step bend on the B, and then I bend it up even more, another half step, so, okay, and then E, 10 on the B, and then 9 slide back to 7 on the G, and I'm going to do a 5 to 7 hammer on on the G, and that quick little slide on that blue note on 7th fret on the G, right? Okay, so all together, we got... And then I'm gonna go... So that's just 7 on the D, 5 on the G, and then a bend seven on the G, okay? And all that is basically just, just pentatonics, just going through those various positions. Do you know what I mean? Okay, now I kind of start to outline the changes a little more. So the first lick of the second half is gonna be that just straight ahead classic rock uh, riff. So bending seventh on the G, five on the B, five on the E, full step, on the B on 8th fret, and then 5, 8, 5, starting on the E, so 5 on the E, 8 on the B, 5 on the B, and then it's almost like I'm starting to lick again. Then 7 on the G, 5 on the B, 5 on the E, and then 8, 5 on the B, 7 on the G. So all together that's... slow these 
these things down and like break them apart it makes you feel weird. Okay, so that's the first lick of the next half of the solo. And then, so at the end of that I'm going, so seven, uh, full step on the seventh fret on the G, back down, five on the G, down to fourth fret. That's where I kind of take it out. Cause I'm playing over that A minor over B, uh, G. Right? I'm hitting, what would be the nine of the chord or the third of the G chord. Okay. And then I'm jumping way up to eighth fret on the B after that. Right? You could. Cause I'm just playing the interval of sixth. But I like where I come up over here because the next part of the phrase goes. So I'm gonna start seventh fret on the high E, bend it up a half step, back down, five on the E, and then eight to ten slide. Okay? And eight to eight to ten on the B, eight on the B. Nine slide back to seven on the G, five on the G. So all together that's... Now, I've really outlined the changes here. I'm playing an F major seven arpeggio. And then also adding in that, that B note. <coughs> Excuse me. So, that lick starts second fret on the D, slide into third fret, Hammer on on fifth fret on the D, slide to seven on the D, uh, four on the G, slide to five on the G, seven on the G, and then five on the e, on the B. Okay, and then eight on the B. Okay, now it gets kind of weird here. And then with my pinky finger still, I slide 10th fret on the B. So 10, 12, 13, 10 on the E. And then 12 on the E. I almost forgot how it went. 12 on the E, 15 on the E, and then 12 on the B. Okay, again, I'm like ba do da do do da ba. When it gets to that G chord, that's when I'm landing on the B. And then, so then uh, 12 on the B, 15 on the high E, and then I'm bending 14th fret on the high E. And that. A really quick little half step bend there, down to 12 on the high E. Because I'm outlining again that D chord. And then 13, 12 on the B. And down to uh, 14 on the G. Then I'm actually just playing over an E chord using 6. So 12 to 13 slide on the G. And then slide up to 16 on the G and high E and then ending on. Man, that's a really long solo. Well, it's not a really long slow. <laughs> it's a really long explanation of a solo. The longest I've done. Okay, so I'm gonna do the whole thing one more time really slow. So one, two. Thank mm -hmm. you.
more time up to speed. So that's it for this week. Tune in on Sunday. I'll do another video. Um, please like the video, subscribe, and yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to do. Yeah, and that's it for now. Ta-ta.